What's up, everybody? Welcome to Playing Dead, IGN's weekly Telltale Games, The Walking Dead show. It's all spoilery, so if you haven't been playing the game, you shouldn't be watching this. But thank you for clicking, because now you've registered as a view. Good job for the episodes. Hey! Hi! You're Erin Yvette. I am Erin Yvette. That's you funny. are many characters in yes. the Telltale world. Yes. Snow White in and The Wolf, Wolf Among Us. Us. Yes. Molly in season one of The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Now, and I guess back in season one too, kind of right, Bonnie. Yeah. Yes. I hate Bonnie, so I hate you. That is offensive. Well, <laughs> here's, here's the... she's not the worst person. She's in not two. the worst, but he, what I, I I love and loathe about The Walking Dead okay. is that they get me, and I'm one of those guys who's like, oh, I know where this is gonna go. <laughs> yeah. I won't say this because it'll end with this and that, that, that. And then when Bonnie showed up in episode two, I think I was still so hungover it with happiness of seeing Kenny. That I didn't think something was amiss about this. I know, and I just ruined the party. Y you lied crazy. about having the kids, and I was yeah. like, oh, she's lying for the rest of the group, like the convict and the other guy or whatever. And then you came back with Carver, and I was yeah. like, I should have seen that coming. I know. And it, like when I got to the booth, I knew that I was going for Bonnie, but I had no idea that she had taken a turn. Right. So when I got there, and they're like, okay, so she's kind of like the bad guy in this scene. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I can't, she can't be a bad guy. Yeah. And, and I realized I never, in all of my acting endeavors, I've never really played a villain. And, yeah. and it is, it's true, it, everyone says that the villain never thinks that they're doing horrible things. Right. But I do think that Bonnie does have, she still has more of a conscience than I think most villains have. I think you can kind of see it in her face when she's talking to Clem that she's not happy about what she's about to do to right. the child. Right, 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 right. So and she that, has heart. And, that, and that's what I'm, I'm waiting again, you know, uh, if you're catching these in a time capsule and all life on Earth has ended. <laughs> it, it, episode 3 hasn't come out yet. Right. And in the teaser for episode 3 at the end of episode 2, like we saw Clem and Bonnie interacting a bit. Uh -huh. I'm expecting, we all know Carver's a horrible person. Oh yeah. I'm assuming he has Bonnie there under some means that she can't escape. So now I think, I assume she's going along with the flow to be like, gotta stick it out, ride it out, and escape when I can, or save whoever I'm here to save. Yeah. Well, yes. I, I know what you mean. Yes. You're not confirming that's what happens. I can't confirm You're confirming anything. confirming that's I do, I do have actually a lot of people on Twitter who are really upset about Bonnie and sure. are saying like, I saw that like next time on and if you hurt Clem, I'm gonna come at you and it's just, <laughs> it's overwhelming, but... I'm kind of with them. <laughs> I well, kind of don't want Bonnie to do anything. The thing about it, right, is that it's, I guess, not the first time in video games that this has happened, but the first time yeah. for sure in The Walking Dead where we played as Bonnie. You know what I mean? The choices yeah. we made as Bonnie were our own choices. Mm -hmm. So it's always like I talk about like The Walking Dead story from Telltale being a coloring book. And we sit yeah. down with the same picture and shade it differently, and that makes it our own. Yeah. So. We spent time shading Bonnie, and like, you know, when you, you, <laughs> she gets called a junkie whore, you're like, whoa, what are you yeah. talking about? I'm not cool, yeah. I'm Bonnie, I'm awesome. And then now, <laughs> junkie whore, out to ruin everyone's life. Well, and I feel that way as, as the voice actor, too. Yeah. How I, she was this, like, kind of vulnerable, delicate, but still sassy and passionate person in the DLC, and now that seems to have changed. <laughs> and I, as well as I think a lot of players, are interested to know why, yeah. what happened, and We'll get to the bottom of it, yes, I imagine. I think imagine we will. episode three will do something <laughs> there. Um, I want to compliment you on your voice acting skills. Thank you. You're quite good. I, I met you, and I was like, oh, she doesn't sound anything like Bonnie. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, but then I found answer. out it was a bait and switch because you do sound like Molly a bit. I do sound like Molly. And I loved Molly. Molly was awesome. Molly was a badass. Yeah. That was an amazing character to debut my VO career on. And. Wait, I'm sorry. You. I just complimented your voice acting. Yeah. You're not a professional voice actress. I am not. What do you do in real Yet. life? Um, do you I, dig ditches? Sometimes <laughs> this works out if someone's listening to the radio. I actually, I just graduated from UC Berkeley okay. uh, for theater and performance oh, okay. studies. So my background, I actually, I started way back when in opera and operettas. Okay. So I do have voice training, sure. um, mostly sung. Um, and then I got into theater. Um, and then two years ago, um, I'm, my boyfriend is Nick Herman, a director at Telltale oh, Games. I know him. Yes, and he said they were having trouble casting Molly, sure. and he asked me to audition because he thought I would be able to play that character well. Um, and and he I came was, in and sang, and he's no, like, this yeah. is not a musical. How <laughs> yeah. have you not played anything I do? Yeah, actually, at first I didn't want to. I was scared about just the process of VO. I, I was scared to not have 
physicality sure. working for me and I was really scared about being in a booth and just having to do a bunch <laughs> of takes over and over again and not being able to understand what the people, what like you only get to hear what they want you to hear sure. and they give they you direction the and that was yeah, freaky yeah. to me. Um, but I auditioned and then I got a callback which was doing her, her big um, confession monologue about her sister to Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that, once I did that I knew I wanted it. Right. <laughs> it was just, it was, she was badass but she had these juicy little moments um, and then I was cast and it was very exciting and I um, recorded that and then um, Sean Ainsworth, the director of the DLC 400 Days, uh -huh. asked me to audition for the female characters in that. I was never expecting to get Bonnie, a young 30-something ex-druggie that's not my <laughs> typical you, you type. Put, you didn't reach into your hat of personal <laughs> no. experience oh, and pull that out. Yeah. Yeah. No. Finally, all these years <laughs> yeah. of crack cocaine. Yeah. yeah, so that was really exciting when I got cast as that. And then um, when Wolf Among Us was in its early days, I auditioned for all the female characters in that as well. Um, and again, wasn't expecting to get snow yeah. either. Um, and was that? Did you feel more at home going out for Wolf Among Us? Seeing as how like um, theater is a bit more into fairy tales and Cinderella and stuff. At least my <laughs> my theater career yeah. was. I, um, I was the baker in Cinderella the musical. I'll have you know. No. Oh. You're welcome. I'd like to see that. If you have any I hope no. I yeah. Hope it <laughs> I hope no one has it on tape. Yeah. I mean, I I actually Molly was hard for me to audition just because it was new. Um, but when I did Bonnie, I particularly liked her her first version yeah, yeah. of Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's closest to what I've done in theater, um, which is, I don't know how to explain how it's different, but it's, she had less of a, of a facade, uh -huh. which is, I think, just easier to play. Um, she was just much more raw and honest. Okay. Um, and so I had a lot of fun doing that. And then Snow, she's hard for me because she does have such a facade and she's very cold and just very just brass tacks which yeah. is hard to do with voice acting like it's really easy to fall into a very boring monotone like buff can get the books kind of thing <laughs> and, and I do fall into that and they have to get me out of it and so I think this is actually helping me a lot as a voice actor yeah. and after snow happened um, Julian who works at BA Sound who is Telltale's uh, recording studio um, sent me to STARS, the agency, which is where a lot of Telltale voice actors are at and uh. they're represented by, and they agreed to pick me up. So I am now a so represented voice actor. So now you are just actor. putting the screws yeah, to Telltale. Yeah, I'm getting auditions. You have an agent who's just like <laughs> give, squeezing blood from yes. the stones. Yes, yes. So is, is it, did this change your life? I'm putting it in quotes, but really, did it change your life? I mean, it you were did. doing all this theater stuff. Yeah, no, it did. Um, I mean, I was planning on being a working theater actor, mm -hmm. um, and that has changed. I mean, I still plan on doing that, but VO is just, it's too fun to leave. It's yeah. just, and I, it's, it's, it's quicker. I mean, you're just in and out for like a few hours, and um, I've only done Telltale stuff so far, um, but from what I hear, I mean, this is the juiciest <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I started off really good, so now I'm, I'm like when I'm doing commercial like commercial auditions. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now I know what everyone else is saying when they're on these. Do you shows want me to give another option in case the player says this? And yeah. Like, this is a soap commercial. Yeah, style. I know. But just like I, all the other Telltale people have said, like it's the Telltale roles are the juiciest roles I'll ever have. And I'm like, oh well, I started at that level, yeah, yeah. so now it's only going down. Screwed to, this up. Didn't to, play places. Yeah. Though. But. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really excited to continue with VO. Okay. Well, thank you. You're great at it. Thank you. I can't wait to murder Bonnie, or just to get her and just oh, God. teach her a lesson for Murdering what she did Murdering Bonnie. Yet. I do play the games. I play. I was a player before I was involved. Yeah. Um, I hope I don't have to kill my own character. Well, I have, guess if she becomes a horrible, horrible person, I'll we'll do see. what I have she, to. She but. gets. She gets half of the first. She gets half of episode three to redeem herself to me. Okay. Otherwise, I write her off and I'm done with her. That's very quick. I'm, it's like that's it. It's the world we live in. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Push yeah. a little bit further. <laughs> I will. Well, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much for having me. A pleasure, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's how Playing Dead works. Every Saturday, we post a new conversation about Telltale's The Walking Dead. You should watch it. It's full of spoilers. Tell your friends and keep coming back.